Hey everyone, Noon here, or XViper HD on YouTube, and today I'm going to be making a quick tutorial on the scope transition effect. Basically, it's a very widely used effect that lots of people use in their montage, and you basically can't watch a montage these days without seeing that effect. And I'm surprised I haven't seen more tutorials on how to do it. So I'm going to be making this tutorial and uh, submitting it to the tutorial market. Hopefully they'll upload it and uh, thanks in advance to them if they do. Uh, but no worries if they don't. But let's just get right into it. It's all done in Sony Vegas. So I just have my two clips here. There's no color correction or anything. I just dragged them straight in here. I'm just going to do disable the resample and main, uh, uncheck maintain aspect ratio for both of them. Just so uh, it'll look a bit better and cleaner. And uh, basically, just find on your clip where you want the scope transition to come in. So, yeah, the end of this clip does fine for me, but if you want it to come in from somewhere else, just split the clip uh, where you want it to um, like end coming in, like where you want the next clip to come on. So the end of that clip is good for me, and I'm just going to find the place where I shoot to get that quad feed. So I got a single kill, I think I got another single and a collateral. Uh, it might be a trip, no, it's just a single and a collateral. And right there, right now, yeah. Make sure your scope is in the center of your screen. So just before your scope gets the recoil, so right, just this frame before that, just right there now. That's perfect for me. I'm gonna split the clip right there, and delete this part, and just drag that straight up to the other clip. And now they sort of meet in the middle here. So oh no, they don't. Just drag that up there. Oh, why isn't it fitting? I don't know, let's, let's cut a bit off the end here. Because unfortunately it's being retarded. There we go, okay. So basically you want to go back at 8 to 12 frames, depending on how long you want the scope to start, the like the from the start of it to come in to the end of it coming in. So I'm going to go back, let's say 8 frames, you can do uh, 10 frames works really good, uh, and 12 frames would work uh, good as well if you have a bit of a longer clip. It's going to go back here, 8 frames, so you just use the arrow keys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and just split the clip there by pressing S on the keyboard, and I, I didn't have this selected, okay, right there we go. Now go to your effects and presets, or video event, effects, event FX, uh, and um, add Sony cookie, cookie Cutter, and I'm stuttering a lot because I'm really bad at making tutorials, but uh, hopefully you, you can forgive me. Um, but anyway, just go to animate there by clicking that button and go all the way to the end of the clip. And now make the size, you can just drop the size down. As you can see, if we go down, the size of the thing will start to get smaller. But it's not. Hang on, I'll go to the end here. Yeah, so at the end, you'll see it starts to get smaller from the start of the clip to the end. So basically, a really good size for Call of Duty 4 is 197. It's exactly the size of the scope. So if you put in 197 there at the end, in that keyframe it becomes almost identical to the scope so it's about the same size uh, Modern Warfare 2 uh, about 240 to 197 to 240 works good um, or maybe to 235 uh, 140 is a bit extreme because there's a bit of a, a bit of a drop there but uh, anything um, below 200 anything below above 190 to 235 or 210 maybe would work I haven't really experimented with it too much but um, that's basically the effect. Uh, that's basically it's basically done now. So you can just exit out of that. And you can add some feather as well if you want. I forgot to do it. But let's go back in here and do it. Add some feather here, but don't put too much. I'm just gonna put 0 0.10 here. Not 0 0.010. 0 0.10. And that'll add a sharp bit of feather here to make it look a bit cleaner. And that's basically the effect finished. And um, you, you saw it at the start of the video, but I'll play it again at the end of the video so that you guys can see it uh, one more time. And uh, thanks guys for watching. If this does get uploaded to another channel, please come check me out. Uh, my link will probably be in the description. But uh, as my gamer tag says, XWiperHD, and uh, I will see you later.